In the backstage area of an event hall, a wrestler called Animal Mask is preparing for his World Championship title match. After winning the title, he intends to quit wrestling so he can open his own pet shop. Animal Mask enters the ring and starts his match against a red-haired man called the Macadamia Ogre, also known as Mao. They fight for a while, but Animal Mask together with his dog suddenly disappears into thin air. When he reappears in a medieval castle, a princess called Altina explains that she has summoned him to another world in order to defeat demon beasts and the demon king. Animal Mask gets angry, since he would never fight against the animals he loves so much. In his rage, he grabs Altina around her waist and performs a German suplex on her, to everyone's surprise. The royal guards attack him, eventually chasing him out of the castle. Running away to a nearby town, Animal Mask tries asking around about where he is, but everyone is avoiding him because he is half-naked. Taking off his mask, Animal Mask reveals himself to be a black-haired man called Genzo. When one of the townspeople reports him to the police for walking around half-naked, he is forced to hide. After a while, two people see him intending to capture and sell him together with his dog, Hiroyuki. When the two of them reveal themselves as a girl with animal ears and a wolf man, Genzo gets excited, wanting to pet them. He jumps on the wolf man, grasping him tightly and rubbing his belly. Suddenly, Genzo hears a bald bandit leading a silver-haired girl to sell her. Noticing the girl has wolf ears, Genzo wants to rescue her and feel her fur, too. He German suplexes the slave owner, chasing him away. The silver-haired girl, introducing herself as Shiger, thanks him. However, it turns out it was her own fault for getting captured. She owed the kidnapper some money and promised him she will go into slavery if she doesn't pay it back. Shiger takes Genzo to a hunter guild so he can find a job. Suddenly, two hunters barge in, saying their party was wiped out by Cerberuses. In order to test them, the guild master sends Genzo and Shiger to defeat the Cerberuses. Arriving at the forest, Genzo is overjoyed when he sees Cerberuses are dogs with three heads. He runs towards them, dodging all their attacks and locating their leader. Grabbing the leader, he manages to tame him, to everyone's surprise. Later, Genzo buys himself some clothes and visits a tavern with Shiger. A giant ant joins them at their table, but they accept him. Genzo announces that his goal will be making humans and demon beasts understand each other and get along. Shiger likes his idea and decides to join him. Even though the people of the town hate the beasts and want revenge on them. In order to achieve his goal, Genzo decides to open a pet shop. The two of them come up with a plan. They will complete various quests, but instead of killing demon beasts, they will capture them. After that, they will tame and train them, so they can sell them as pets. Genzo is excited because he loves animals and Shiger is excited because she loves money. Before everything else, they need some money, so they take a look at the available quests. Because of people spraying rumors, Genzo became known as the Demon Beast Killer. Even though Shiger wants to take an easy quest, Genzo insists they take a quest to defeat Salamander, a huge fire-breathing lizard. Keijiru, the strongest man in the guild, approaches them, asking to join their party. As soon as Genzo hears Keijiru wants to kill the Salamander, he refuses his offer and throws him at the wall, knocking him out. While he is down, Shiger sneakily takes Keijiru's sword from the floor. Traveling to a volcanic region full of dangerous beasts, Genzo and Shiger find the Salamander. Genzo quickly manages to tame it and bring it back to the guild alive and well. In an ominous-looking castle, a driving girl is casually reading a magazine about sweets. Since she eats orc meat for every meal, she wants to see the world and eat all kinds of delicious foods. After a while, Genzo and Shiger manage to tame and gather lots of different beasts. In order to buy a house, they look for a well-paying quest. Shiger finds a quest to defeat the orcs that are stealing crops from villagers, but Genzo isn't interested because orcs don't look like animals. In the end, he accepts it for the money. Meanwhile, the dragon girl from before runs away from home and her servant takes off after her. Traveling at night, Genzo and Shiger find the orc settlement. Genzo enters it by himself and immediately challenges the orcs, asking them who the strongest one is. When the strongest orc comes out, Genzo drop kicks him, telling him he shouldn't steal from the villagers. Genzo takes the orc's strongest punch, surprising him. The two start fighting seriously, Genzo using wrestling moves and the orc using brute force. They fight fiercely, but Genzo wins in the end, performing a German suplex. All the other orcs are impressed, acknowledging Genzo is strong. The next morning, Genzo and the strongest orc make peace. Returning to the guild, Genzo and Shiger get enough money from the quest to buy a house where their store will be. After buying the house, they still need to pay the government some money so they can open a business, but they do not have nearly enough. Having moved into their new house together with the giant ant, Genzo and Shiger realize they barely have any space for themselves, with all the beasts they captured. In order to keep earning money, Shiger goes to the guild to see if there are any new quests. 
Meanwhile, Genzo meets his neighbor, who turns out to be an animal housewife. Genzo is immediately attracted to her and she gets flustered too. In the bushes, Genzo sees the dragon girl we saw before. Since she has fainted from hunger, Genzo takes her to his home and gives her some food. Genzo shows her his magic beasts, but Linda looks at them like they are food. She gets interested in his dog and wants to eat him, but Genzo doesn't let her. When Genzo brings up about half-dragons, Linda dodges his question and quickly leaves. At that moment, Shigar comes back. She found a quest to investigate a dragon attacking people at night, and Genzo gets excited about seeing a real-life dragon. Keijuru barges in, carrying a new sword and wanting to help Genzo battle the dragon, but Genzo just beats him up again. Shigar steals Keijuru's new sword. Later, Genzo and Shigar investigate the dark alleys in town until Shigar smells a dragon. Genzo puts on his wrestling costume and puts down some pet food on the floor to lure the dragon, intending to capture it. Surprisingly, instead of a dragon, he captures Linda. Would some hunters see him in his animal mask disguise, they think he kidnapped an innocent girl and attack him. He runs away and Linda runs together with him. They manage to hide, but suddenly, a blonde woman called Carmilla appears, saying she will rescue Linda. Carmilla attacks Genzo, but is surprised by his strength. Eventually, Genzo manages to force Carmilla into submission. Finding Shigir, the three of them return to Genzo and Shigir's house. Linda admits she is from the Factor family, one of the families that served the Demon King. At that moment, Carmilla appears inside the house, wanting to take Linda with her. Shigir quickly gives Genzo a vial of holy water, garlic, and similar anti-vampire items, and he manages to subdue her. Linda interrupts them, asking them to forgive Carmilla, who is her servant. When they all calm down, Linda explains that she was sick of staying in her mansion all day and eating only disgusting orc meat. She ran away because she wanted to go out to see the world and try all kinds of different foods. She wants to help Genzo with his pet shop and Carmilla lets her, saying her happiness is most important. It turns out Carmilla was the beast who was attacking humans in town, so Genzo suplexes her as punishment. Sometime later, at Princess Altina's castle, everyone is laughing at her because Genzo suplexed her, and that way embarrassed her. Her servants are still looking for Genzo, but they are unable to find him. At Genzo and Shigir's house, Shigir is the only one working and earning money, while everyone else is slacking off. At that moment, a man from the bank called Claus visits them. It turns out they have to pay the down payment for their loan as soon as possible. Hearing this, Genzo and the others start doing their best and earning money in different ways. However, after a while, Genzo gets fired for spending too much time with the surrounding animals, Carmilla gets caught for stealing and Linda starts getting charged for the food she was eating. As a result, they ended up with even less money than before. Angry at the other's incompetence, Shigar talks to the Hunter Guild's master, who gives her a quest to kill a powerful griffin. Genzo gets excited about seeing a griffin and agrees to do it, while Linda wants to try eating it. Keijuru appears with a new sword and wants to join, but Genzo beats him up once again. Shortly, the whole party sets out to find the griffin's nest. Shigar tells Genzo that griffins usually give birth to two chicks, but they abandon the weaker one. Finally, they find two gigantic griffins with two children. When Genzo sees one of the chicks beat the other one in a fight, he runs over to them and takes the weaker one. The two adult griffins notice this and start chasing Genzo's party. Suddenly, Carmilla stops to fight the griffins but gets quickly caught in a griffin's beak. Shigar runs away with the griffin chick, while Genzo blocks one of the adult griffins' attacks with his bare hands. He jumps on the griffin and hugs it, but the griffin throws him into a boulder, knocking him out. In the end, Linda rescues both Genzo and Carmilla. Not only did they not manage to complete the quest, but the griffin chick they kept grew bigger quickly, making their food costs even higher. Shigar suddenly remembers she can sell all the swords she took from Keijuru and earns enough money to cover their debts. We then return to the day of Genzo's last wrestling match. Mao, his opponent, is preparing to face him backstage. Genzo has beaten him time and time again, but Mao feels like he will win this time. However, before their fight could finish, Genzo was sent to another world, which angers Mao, making him think Genzo ran from the fight. After some time passes, Mao grows sad and disappointed becoming with defeating Genzo. In the other world, the wolfman called Gang and the beast girl called Misha approach Genzo's empty house, having decided to steal Genzo's dog, Hiroyuki. Meanwhile, Genzo and his party are looking for a plant called Dradradagola in a forest, but Genzo isn't interested because it's not an animal. Later, at the bandit's hideout, Gang and Misha return, all beaten up and tired. They tried baiting Hiroyuki with ham to catch him, but Gang thought he's cute and lost himself in playing with him. While he was playing with Hiroyuki, the giant ant that lives with Genzo and the others noticed the two of them and beat them up. In the forest, Shigir hears a Dradradagola scream and Genzo runs towards it, thinking it's a magic beast. 
He finds a whole crop of Dragratagolas, but doesn't want to bring them with him when he realizes they're not like animals at all. While Genzo and Shigeru are arguing, Linda eats all the plants they were supposed to collect. When everyone returns to their house, the giant ant tells them Gang and Misha tried kidnapping Hiroyuki. Enraged, Genzo immediately runs into the bandit's hideout and beats Gang up with wrestling moves. Hey, thank you for staying all the way till the end. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. It takes only a second, but it means everything to us. Have a great day and see you in the next video.